Hey, how you going? It's been a while since I've shot a video and I've seen that my subscriber count keeps going up. So I figured I should probably start making some more content again. So if you're an old fan of the channel or you've only just joined, how you going? I welcome you. Maybe you've been wondering where I've been and what I've been up to. So around 12 months ago, I found full-time work repairing and restoring industrial touchscreens over on the other side of the state. So as you can imagine, time is a lot more limited these days to be able to make videos for YouTube. Around May last year, I also got sent to Austria and Germany for a bit of work training. And while I was there, I had a free weekend to actually be able to go to Superbooth over in Berlin, where I was able to meet Walker from Make Noise, Chris Mayo of Learning Modular, and one of the authors of the Patch and Tweak book, and also met lots of other cool people, and obviously saw heaps of cool synthesizers. And after the event was over, I also tried to get into Bergen looking like an absolute dork. So I think there was very little chance of some weird Australian nerd being able to get into one of the coolest clubs in the world. <laughs> and I've also been pumping out a heap of new modules for the synth. And I've also got a new third box to begin filling as well. Oh yeah. So recently I've been thinking just about how I want to keep running this channel and what kind of content I actually want to keep making. At this point, I feel like talking about basic modules and making tutorial videos is basically just adding more water to the ocean of content that's already out there. I mean, at this point, we already know what a fucking filter is, right? I mean, when it comes to making tutorial videos, Maritz Klein is basically the goat in this community. And I don't feel like the quality and the style of my videos will ever be able to keep up with that, because his stuff is absolutely brilliant. For me, the channel basically started as a way for me to start an online resume with me creating and documenting different circuits to demonstrate my understanding. And I figured making a modular synthesizer was the best way to go about it, as it combined a lot of my different passions, like music and designing electronic circuits. But now that I am working, I don't feel the need to be producing over-the-top videos to demonstrate my understanding of a circuit. And it also takes a lot of time and planning to be able to make those type of videos, which, as I mentioned before, is a little lacking these days. But some of the new modules I've been working on have brought the system closer to being able to make full songs with bass lines, drums, leads and FX. But I was quickly running into the problem of how can I break out of an 8-bar loop? You can only bring the individual elements in and out of the mix so many times, but at the end of the day it's still just the same motif repeating itself. And also, I'm not Henry the fucking octopus, so trying to bring everything in and out at the right time was just turning into an absolute disaster. So I started thinking there has to be a better way than this. So I recently came up with this new module, which basically takes the MIDI data from FL Studio and converts it into gates and triggers and CV signals to control the synth. So now I can use the door to bring in and out the elements that I want, while freeing up my hands to be able to focus on less time-intensive elements. So moving forward into the future with the channel, I've decided to focus more on the modules that I consider fairly innovative and I haven't actually seen too much of in the community, like the automation sequencer, which we'll take a look at in another video. And I've also decided to open the channel up to some different topics that isn't just synth related and will hopefully help me to rediscover some lost hobbies. For instance, I used to be really into taking photos on analog film using some of the Lomography cameras, but it ended up falling by the wayside for other passions and hobbies. But I'm now left with a bunch of jars full of film that I really need to use instead of just allowing to gather dust. And I've also got two of these Lomo LC wides which both have their own individual problems. So it could be fun to try and combine them into the one camera and document the process one day. And I've also decided on a name change. So from now on, the channel will now be called Sebo the Bush Nerd. Because well, I still live out in the bush away from the city and I'm still a giant fucking nerd. But with that being said, there's still going to be a few different names floating around the channel. So the modules that I design are still going to be Circuits and Sounds branded. And obviously, I'm Sebo, the bush nerd, your presenter. But if I put on this jacket and I'm making music with the synth, 
then I'm calling myself the Electric Rosella. But speaking of music, here's a brand new song from yours truly. <laughs> 